And let's get a shot of Sam, if you would. Let's get a close-up of Sam right there. This is the newest. This is absolutely incredible. Now, Sam stands for Semi-Automatic Mason. And this is phenomenal. Just watch him for a second. I mean, he butters his own brick. And through a series of lasers and the way they've got it set up, I mean, it's absolutely amazing, and I'm standing here with Scott Peters, uh, who's responsible for this wacky guy right here. Scott, let me give you a microphone, because um, I'm just so enamored with Sam. I just may go over there and have a conversation with him. So tell us all about Sam. What is Sam, really? Well, as you said, Sam is short for Semi-Automated Mason, and it's a uh, bricklaying robot. Uh, it's designed and built to work alongside the masonry crew to support and take some of the heavy lifting off their backs, uh, help with the, the productivity on the job site, and really, uh, you know, I think th there's a number of benefits that Sam can bring to the masonry industry. But I mean, how does somebody come up with an idea for this? I mean, I look at some of the walls that Sam is building, and they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the guy does good work and he never takes a break. Yeah, there's a ton of technology that we looked at in the manufacturing space, and really this is the first opportunity to bring this idea of digitally designed uh, concepts with robotic placement into the construction industry, something that manufacturing and other industries have done for years. And I think that this opportunity to bring this into construction can be appealing to architects, to designers, and, and hopefully to the overall industry to, to drive more masonry design and, and implementation. I mean, this obviously has to help masonry in a number of ways. I mean, how, how does the future look for somebody like Sam? Well, we, we, we think we are at the, at the forefront of a new revolution in construction, and hopefully masonry can lead the way by uh, bringing robotics into uh, on-site construction, and, and that'll help ultimately help by extending the work-life careers of masons who their back is hurting, their shoulders are hurting. They can work alongside Sam and use their, their skills that they've had for years to continue their, their work careers. You can also attract young talent, because now people that want to uh, work with computers and work with uh, new technologies such as robotics can actually do that in construction and masonry, and hopefully provide a new uh, tool for architects as well as they design more interesting uh, masonry designs and, and complex patterns into masonry walls making it more appealing and more desirable to choose masonry, and the robot can help with all of that. I mean, why not? Robots can build Mercedes. Why can't they build a wall? Oh, exactly. um, talk about some of your experience with Sam and what he's been able to accomplish. Yeah, over the last year, you know, this is uh, the second year here at World of Concrete, and we're uh, thrilled to be here as part of the, you know, part of the uh, Bricklayer 500. And, and I think what we've experienced over the last year has been a ton of great opportunities on job sites. We've been on a number of job sites working with mason contractors and general contractors, and uh, just showing what Sam can do. And, and I think that everyone from the, the contractors have seen the benefits of having Sam on the job, as well as the masons and, and laborers who have worked alongside Sam have seen the benefits firsthand of what it's like to work with the robot and have, have thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, you know, we've done this through uh, a robotic services offering that we have where it's an opportunity for people to try Sam out on their job. And um, this is run, you have an iPad that you can actually uh, run Sam with, you know, yeah. and, and you punch everything in and design the wall that way. Now, it's run through a series of layers. I know we have lasers on one side, and lasers over on the other. Now, if I were to cross, I would break that laser. Would Sam stop? If you broke that laser while Sam was ready to place a brick, it would stop and it would beep at you, which basically is saying, hey, get out of my way. <laughs> and then as soon as you get out of the way, the robot continues operations. Can so we again, see if it works? Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. I'm going to walk so we, in we front of go Sam. we got to go on the other side, we though. we got to go on the other side. All right, we're going to see if we can uh, get Sam to stop here. So we can interrupt him. So I'm just going to walk across. Yes. Yeah, so All right. You just here we gotta, go. You, you, if you basically block the laser right here as Sam is laying, it'll chirp at you. Oh and yeah. Then and he stops. As soon as as soon as it sees the laser again, it starts laying again. Okay. But I like that. You can get a close up down here. I want you to watch this. When the brick comes down, he's got he's got his self buttering down there. So they're measuring the brick. The lasers are trying to tell you exactly where is that brick going to go. It butters itself. It's going to put it right up in here. And Sam does absolutely nice work. Scott, this is awfully impressive out here. And Sam's going to be building walls all day? He will. And if, if you want to get a first-hand look at our software of how to design interesting uh, walls, by, uh, come on over to our tent, check it out, and uh, you can see Sam working firsthand. Excellent. Thank you. We really appreciate it. And uh, Sam, lunch is on me today. I mean, why not? The guy doesn't eat much, you know.